Doujin for the same exact reason everyone reads Doujin. For that good cooch. For those big ol' anime titties that flounce about without a care in the world lactating over every breathing thing around them. But sometimes you stumble over a doujin that leaves you in awe, doo-doo, and trust me here guys, I ain't fucking lying, it's story. <laughs> doujins are pieces of work that usually take characters from an original anime series and show them taking an excruciating train to Plowtown, and usually that's what we signed up for. What we didn't sign up for? A doujin with closure of characters that we came to love from the original anime series and not just blank faces to fap to. Tearful answers to complex questions in the series that we couldn't shake out of our heads after finishing it. And an ending that doesn't rival the original anime's ending, but instead completely overshadows it. And the doujin that I'm talking about can be None other than my all-time favorite doujin ever, Evangelion Retake. Now I can finally show you guys why I'm wearing this jacket. <laughs> uh, can you see it? Can you see best and worst girl? Now, this may sound familiar to everyone because I've mentioned Evangelion Retake a few times in my previous videos before, trying to encourage everybody who hated Evangelion's ending and wanted something to just kind of feel better about, but I just feel like mentioning it is not fucking enough. It deserves its own video. This is a doujin everyone should experience. Now before I begin, I want to say again, this is the best doujin I have ever read. However, it is very short. So if you don't want to hear me clamor on about it and I have already convinced you to read it, it is only four chapters and a hundred pages. I am most likely going to slightly spoil some things going into this video, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, let's fucking go, bitches. Now, if you haven't watched the original Evangelion series, go? How are you supposed to be respected by other weebs if you don't know the cash cow that is Evangelion? This video wouldn't even make sense to you. But if you have watched it, then I'm sure we all have similar feelings about the ending. <laughs> one Japanese guy who flipped off the camera in the movie theater when they were premiering the end of Evangelion? There were about a million and ten unanswered questions in the ending of Evangelion. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say retake answers all of them, but it answers, to me, the most important questions. With a little bit of sexy time. Spoiler alert as well, if you are Team Ray, get a better palette, and also sucks to suck because this doujin is completely Team Asuka! Now the story of Retake is a bit of a complex one because duh, it's Evangelion! So there isn't much of a plot description I can give you guys without completely spoiling the entire story, so I'm just going to say that Retake is more about a character closure sort of ending and leaves kind of all unanswered questions answered in in terms of the characters. And this doujin takes an already completely absurd and very complex story and gives it back in equal lengths. I am not going to go much into the absurdity and complexity of the story because once again that would be spoilers, but here is a small synopsis as to what Retake is about. We find that Shinji in this plotline finally decides no longer to run away but instead to grow some big hairy balls. As the plot progresses, Shinji feels a very heavy twinge of deja vu, like he's already been in this place before. Any situation that he suddenly finds himself in, he suddenly recalls what happens and how he previously felt about it and the regret. So he decides that instead of doing what he kind of feels is initially deja vu and kind of regretting what his past actions were, he does it all differently. And that in itself leads to a completely different storyline. A storyline where you don't want to just take your fucking computer monitor and scream into it because it's just sitting there! So him no longer just sitting there and being a little bitch creates a completely new timeline that makes far more sense than the original End of Evangelion ending. Now not 
only to go with this better explained ending, this doujin, of course, has a little schmeckum of sexy time junction. Now, I'm going to say straight up that sex in this doujin is, believe it or not, not the main focus. It's actually the story. And honestly, just with how well written the story already was, a little addition of saucy time just adds a little more flavor to it. Just completely added more beauty to it. Since Shinji decided to finally grow a pair in this series, it wouldn't make sense for him not to get laid, would it? If Shinji was already a tough fuck anyway, gamer girls would be putty in his hands. That clout! And the saucy time moments in this doujin that Although our few are still just as spicy as ever. Seeing Sundere Asuka be a total bitch even while she's cockadoodle noodling is just top tier. <laughs> it is the shock to the system we all need. And hey, if you feel there isn't enough saucy time in this to make you feel better about yourself, then worry not because there's an actual real life porn made about this fan work. Yup, you heard that right. There is indeed a porn real life version of Evangelion retake. Not saying it's any good though. Look at this fucker that they got to play Shinji. He's like 40! Not only is he at least 40, he is such an ugly bastard! So having an ending with characters and where their lives would be had Shinji made different decisions leaves you feeling completely satisfied after reading it in a way that you never knew you could with Evangelion. Imagine a world where thinking about Evangelion didn't just make you irrationally angry. And no, although we don't get answers to completely everything like where do the Evangelions come from and why is Shinji's dad such an asshole? But we do get the answers to things that really matter. Like the question of what Asuka would look like in a wedding dress and her children! Oh! This doujin, this fan work, was created by someone who was just completely a fan and that boggles my fucking mind. And it gives an ending that isn't so much to make sense of the original Evangelion, but to give characters, once again, their proper proper needed conclusion. It has plenty of its own twists and turns, and even after finishing the final page, it leaves you with something I personally never felt from the original ending of Evangelion. Closure. Now, it may have sounded like throughout this whole video I was just dissing and shitting all over the original ending of Evangelion, and I personally enjoyed it myself. However, the ending of Evangelion did not feel like a proper ending to a story. Whereas with Retake, from beginning to end, even when you finish the doujin and you set it down, you can completely see the story, and all loose ends finally become tied. The author who has created Retake is a complete genius, because this is the first time that I have actually read a doujin from an anime ending that I personally, of course, for the millionth time, didn't feel completely satisfied by, only to read a fan work that does make me feel satisfied. If such a thing can exist, then all the other shitty anime endings out there can finally be brought to justice! Especially if you can finally see all of your favorite characters take a ride down to Plowtown! So much work and time had to have been put into this doujin that makes its infamy not come from its steamy artwork or its super sensual sex scenes, but rather its storytelling and plausible theories. I mean, this is Pulitzer Prize winning shit over here. So although I wouldn't be taking out retake if I'm looking to dumb myself out to some adult stupid trash, and although it also doesn't have big anime titties that take up an entire panel, Retake is without a doubt my all-time favorite doujin to have ever blessed this earth. And that's because... I mean, have you watched the video? Go fucking read it! Thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I love making the content I do because it's often, so often, so often about, about the lewd shit. It is often demonetized, so if you are thinking about supporting this channel, then please type in this link here or check the link in the description because it's already fucking there. Here is this month's waifu shout out. I am completely sorry it's been ages since I've done it, but... <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Chica time! Let's all prepare the student council room for the day! Gaming malarkey, clean up all the papers over there! 
Jan, did you do the filing for the festival yet? Brocky, put your hentai away! It's time to get ready! Petey Piranha, can you text the prez? Scott, take notes for the meeting, please. Joshua, you may be the treasurer, but don't extort money! Charlotte, put on those cat ears! We are heading to the maid cafe! Alex, can you sweep up the office? It's dirty! Lou, you sly dog! You just sit there, you little bitch! Noah, no! You get out of here! This is adults only! Sis, where are those papers I asked for? Andy! Alfonso M6, your hard work has always paid off. Thank you! Kizo, holy Jizo! Class is about to start! We need to hurry! Anthony, put the D&D away, you bitch! All right, Lee! Now that your nipples are out, it's time for the day to begin! Thank you guys again, and... Uh...